welcome back to another video today i will be doing a get ready with me so i am on my way out the door today i am going to the mall i'm just gonna get like comfortable cute i do have another affordable wig to show you guys so this is gonna be hair makeup and outfit this hair is super easy it's already done up for you i just have to um, of course make it my own and make it look realistic so this is the unit today we're going to be wearing this is the melted hairline lace front wig by outre this is the model here um this is the unit they come in a range of colors the color that the model was wearing is gorgeous too and i also bought another color too but i'm going to wait to show you guys that color in the next video so yes that's the stock card this is what it looks like this is the unit um i will have the links down below for you guys so if you want to purchase this unit you can i bought this unit with my own money <laughs> okay i'm not collabing with any hair company or anything this is purchased with my own money this is what she looks like right out of the package very pretty the hairline is everything like everything it is already like in the middle part you guys see that scalp that lace it looks like scalp before I even put it on. It does come with a little baby hair. It's out for you. It is definitely pre-plucked for you already. Um, just gorgeous. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. So, this is the part. Wait, I can't. I don't know if I, I'll be able to do this in the middle part. Because, as you guys can see, the, how the lace is constructed. It is just in the middle. And then you have lace on the hairline so i won't be i'll probably have to shift the wig over to make it on the side part or i'll have to just hmm not make a part it won't be like a part parted wig but i do have lace on the hairline so that's going to make it look natural it comes with two combs on the side one in the back adjustable straps and it comes with a nice band thank you this is going to make the wig lay down flat and it's kind of like a glueless lace wig and i like when bands come with this this lace does look like a light brown so i'm definitely going to have to put some uh foundation in this i'm going to use my foundation and just blend it in there this wig is kind of tight honey you don't want to go nowhere <laughs> but this lace is to die for you guys see that shit stop playing with me okay with these wigs <laughs> stop it stop it and it comes with like some baby hairs ready for you too like this middle part is everything though i don't know if i want to change that I don't know if I want to change that, but it's like I do. Because I want a different look. I feel like I just did a middle part with the other wig. And... Like I was telling you guys, I can't really do a middle part. Because the lace is like a part lace. But you still get lace around your hairline area. But which makes it great. I'm happy about that. I'm glad it's just not lace right here. It's lace around the hairline. extra hold hairspray um it's very light it's not too bad for laying down your lace if you want something to take off and put back on that's what you can use if you don't want any like really harsh glue so 
this is a unit that I'll be like, you know, putting on, taking back off because it, it is synthetic. You, you have to change up your wigs when you wear synthetic hair because it's not human. You know, just to keep up the um, quality of the hair. I would suggest not wearing the same synthetic wig every day. You have to switch it up. So, this is the hairline, y'all. Outre was not playing with when they said melted hairline because this is a melted hairline okay i didn't even have to put too much of this down but to just secure it just a little bit i did place some on the side right here but as far as up here just a little bit but more on the sides because you know your wig can't push back even though it is snug with no glue it can still push back brush is pretty good I'm loving so far. This looks like some real human virgin hair. The texture and everything. that is the part I don't think I'm gonna pluck it I am gonna put a little bit of my powder down in the middle I used this Maybelline fit me uh, matte plus poreless in the shade warm Sun 344 make sure when you Put your powder in your lace or foundation or whatever you choose to use make sure it's blended in you don't want that powder to just look like it's sitting you want that powder to look like it's melted you guys so this is the ending results and you cannot tell me this do not look like some real hair now the shedding on this is something I don't know if it's because I've been cutting my baby hairs I cut the lace I should have brushed this hair before I cut the lace just to see if it sheds so I'm not sure if it's coming from that because sometimes that can happen. Your hair will shed from cutting the lace and when you do your baby hair. So I'm not really sure what the shedding is coming from. But y'all know I always be honest on hair. And it's doing a couple shedding. Not just a little one little string honey but it's shedding now it's time to do our face y'all for my brows i am going to use my anastasia beverly hills dip brow in the shade chocolate take my and l'oreal infallible full wear concealer in the shade walnut and my neutrogena radiant cream concealer in the shade golden and i'm going to mix these two together for my uh, eyebrows
uh, now I am moving on to my, I think I want to do my foundation first. I think I want to do my foundation first. And then go to my eyes. Sometimes y'all know I go to my eyes first and then I do my foundation. But I think I want to do my foundation first today. We're going to hop on to my primer. My NYX Angel Veil Primer. This is what I'm going to be using. And I'm going to be using my Milani Conceal in Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation. Uh, and concealer, I have this in 11 Amber. 11 Amber is my shade. I'm going to blend this out with my Beauty Blender. For some reason, this Milani uh, works better in the winter for me, this, this shade. Because you guys know we get a little lighter uh, when the winter comes. But in the summertime, this don't, it don't sit well on my skin. I don't know what it is. So, um, and I've had it for a minute. But now, it's like amazing on my skin now. Like, it's everything. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and take my L'Oreal Infallible Concealer and I'm just going to put this on my lid and blend this out. And then I'm going to set it with my Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder. Today I took out the Jaclyn Hill Palette Volume 2. Um, this stuck out to me. These colors did because I'm like, oh, so pretty. This is giving me Valentine's Day, you know? And we already know that Valentine's Day is coming up. So I'm like, this will be perfect for whatever um, look I create. So I took out this palette and I love it these colors we're going to go into grateful this is grateful we're going to go into grateful as a transition the next shade i'm going to take is what should I take? I'm going to take Heart On. I don't think I ever used this shade in here. Heart On. And it's a very like reddish, reddish pink. Heart On is right here. I'm going to take that on top of the transition. to take crazy this is like a a pretty purple that's crazy I'm taking that in the crease I don't think I should take that color y'all so never mind to that <laughs> um hopefully I didn't fuck nothing up but I'm going to actually take that black. I'm starting from the end first. And kind of like just packing it in the crease. Going back in with that other brush. And now I'm going in with that crazy purple. So I feel like now it can like blend right next to the black. So it can be a nice transition. I'm not taking it 
too far over here. I'm gonna take positivity. <laughs> positivity right here. It looks like a pink. I just put on my lashes I'll link the lashes that I'm wearing down below uh, these are some very full on dramatic lashes so you don't have to wear these lashes if you don't want to if you don't want to with this look if you do recreate it just make it your own okay I always have to say this because I feel like a lot of people don't be liking like I feel like some people don't like real thick lashes like this and they'd be like, oh, well, you didn't have to wear those lashes, blah, blah, whatever. Do what makes you happy or whatever you're comfortable with. So now I'm going to take my NYX Born to Glow. I just used these in my last makeup tutorial and I love them so much. Ah. I'm really happy that I like, uh, I like this concealer. So I have three. I'm going to use Warm Caramel first. And I love it because it has this sponge. It reminds me of the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer. And this shade is very, very close to my foundation. Like, super close. But I love to use a, a concealer that's very close to my... Very close to my foundation. It's just giving me more of a full coverage look. And then, of course, I top it on with a lighter concealer, so... I'm going to blend this out first, and then I'm going to add um, another concealer. Look at that. <laughs> so, I have... Uh, I have golden and I have caramel. Now these shades are very similar and I was just talking about how um, I feel like they need to put the damn name on the tube and just not the top. Because I, I, I took off both tops and I laid it down and now I don't even know which one is golden or caramel. Like I don't know which one is which. So it was very hard for me to figure out which one is which. I don't know if I have the wrong top on either one but um i kind of like use both because they're definitely very close in shade i can't even really tell them apart one is just a little little bit darker so i don't know if that's golden or caramel so yeah <laughs> i think this one is probably caramel i'm using or golden i don't know y'all i hate that i don't freaking know but they are close in shade, so I just want to say that. set the concealer make sure y'all when y'all uh, are uh, setting your concealer you put down your powder make sure you go in the corners of your nose because 
y'all be looking greasy i be seeing some some well, i ain't gonna say y'all <laughs> i be seeing some people make up and they forget the corners of their nose especially if you have a certain nose where it's like a deep corner you have to get in there like i remember uh when i used to do my clients faces and everybody knows everybody's shape of their face is different and some people i literally have to move their nose over because it's so deep they have a really cr creased nose so i have to really make sure i make sure i put that uh, powder in between there make sure the concealer is in there because if it's not it's gonna look crazy and you're gonna look oily as hell so just make sure that part right there is set and blended okay okay so while that's set there i'm going to use my maybelline fit me matte plus poreless uh powder and this one is in 355 coconut that's in I'm taking my black radiance true complexion contour palette I used this in my last video and I'm like oh my god I missed these these I have it I have one in light to medium and the other in medium to dark um, I like to go into both so I'm gonna go in with this one first which is the light to medium and I'm taking this one right now and then I'm going to go in with the medium to dark and take this one just to deepen up my contour. the Jaclyn Hill palette volume 2 and I'm gonna take I'm gonna take that crazy color which is that deep purple and just kind of like put it under my eye Uh, now for my blush slash highlight which is going to be both in one this is the nyx sweet cheeks i have this in citron rose this right here is everything i just used this in my last video too and i missed this like this was one of my faves i used to use so i love it because it's so pretty it has its own natural highlights so this is like blush and highlight in one Y'all see that? So pretty. That's so pretty. And then for the highlighting the rest of my face, I'm just going to use the MAC Flare for Dramatic. And I love this highlight, y'all. I like to highlight my nose, chin, and forehead. And of course, my tear duct. Y'all, I'm taking my NYX Downtown Beauty Lip Liner. So this is supposed to be like very pigment in color. I'm 
on top of that i'm going to take the mac dazzle glass and i have this in dress to dazzle and i love this i'm going to go back to get some more like this is one of my favorite lips i bought when i went to mac like i should have got two of these oh so pretty i love this I love it. If you want to get this hair for Valentine's Day, this will be so bomb, y'all. If you can't get your hair done right now because uh, of COVID, or if you can't book with your uh, hairstylist because she too booked, okay, this is what you go get. Go get this wig, girl. Don't even worry about her. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Just go ahead and get your hair. Get this synthetic wig. And go about your day okay or if you just don't want to spend so much on getting your hair done you want to look cute for valentine's day and you ain't got the bread right now the funds to do what you really want to do which is buy a 300 500 wig and then you gotta pay for it to get installed and all that then go ahead and do this because this is just gonna give you life for, this is gonna give you what you need also, you guys, before I end this video, I do want to say that me and Bae's uh, Vegas vlog is up on our channel, though. So, make sure you guys subscribe, tune in to our channel, watch that vlog, support that channel as much as you guys support my channel. Don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like and comment. It's up. Okay, you guys, let me show you guys my fit real quick before I leave out. <laughs> I'm going to show you guys my outfit in this little mirror, but this little mirror is kind of like... Now that I have it, it's kind of weird. It's very small. I'm about to get a new one because this one ain't it. But this is my fit. Okay. Hopefully, I can see real good. This is what I'm wearing. And as you guys can see, it's freezing outside. I want it to be cute, so I wore some cute boots. We're going to see. <laughs> If I can, uh, but these are very comfortable. I got these from Boohoo. Actually, Boohoo sent me these last year to do a fashion haul. So, these are very comfortable. Uh, the heel is very, like, spongy and soft. So, it's it's not a hard heel. They don't click clack everywhere. I love these. It's very cute with a lot of comfy clothes. So, I can dress up and dress down with these. So, that's why I love, I love them. Jeans, uh, these high waist jeans I got from, uh, where I get these jeans from? I got these jeans from Fashion Nova. This crop top I got from Sheen. And my jewelry, you guys. Uh, the watch was a gift. My necklace was a gift. I don't even know where this is from. But this gold one right here, that's from Forever 21. This is from H&M ring bay so some of this is like gifts and stuff that i bought and i believe this ring right here is from sheen and this one is from sheen too so. this is my fit okay stop playing with me <laughs> and then i'm wearing this bag today I got this from H&M. I love this bag. I love me some big bags. I haven't worn this bag in a minute. So I'm like, I need to wear this today. So this is the vibes. So yeah, this is the vibe today. Nothing major. Um, oh yeah. While I'm wearing this hair, this hair seems to be like... Like tangle up on me a little bit more than the other wig that I just uh, reviewed so yeah it's still cute but it's definitely not something that I will put on every day if I want something quick definitely will throw this on because I don't have to do nothing I have to curl it the curls won't fall or anything so that's one thing I love about this hair so that's one thing I love about it that the fact that I don't have to do much you can't really tell when it's tangling though so that's a plus <laughs> oh yeah and the coat that i'm wearing i got from forever 21 i'm gonna put it on now because i'm about to leave out yeah so this is the coat i love it it's long and it's warm 
I love the collar. You can either put it down or you can put it up. I'm going to put it up because my chest is out and it's cold. I still want to be cute but warm. Okay. I love it because it, ha it comes with this where I can tie it up. I'm going to tie it up so I can show you guys the full effect. So, yeah, y'all, this is the coat. I'm comfortable and I am warm. Okay. I don't have to wear a scarf because my neck is it's nice and warm. So, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah, that is it for today's Get Ready With Me. I hope you all enjoyed. Um, if you guys have any questions about this hair that I didn't say in the video, please leave it down below. I'll get back to you all. So, let me know if you guys enjoyed this video. I do not have on no earrings. What is wrong with me? It's okay. Um, I need to go buy some more. So while I'm at the mall today, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna buy me some more, some more earrings. I love you, baby dolls, so so much. And I'll see you dolls in my next video. Mwah.